regarding some of the upcoming uh, contracting opportunities, we see that. Um, one of the five uh, core values is you know, transparency, diversity, and inclusion, including uh, uh, accountability and transformation. Um, to the uh, transportation infrastructure, we have some uh, innovative and good things coming uh, our way. We have uh, some of the mobility uh, mobility uh, to Portland, uh, to Chicago, the public selection and criteria, the community engagement, implementation of major modernization programs, some funding and sustainability uh, investment for the energy between entities. Um, uh, Chicago uh, get uh, placed on there be conveniently and safe on uh, affordability. I'm not going to go through a series of uh, different projects that we have uh, coming on the, um, down the pipe. Um, this is some of the uh, more details. Um, the contractual opportunities we have for the CDOT is on the transit uh, station and construction, a street up and construction resurfacing the street scrape uh, project, bridge reconstruction, uh, engineering services, uh, construction management. You know, the two engineering on the um, One of the, um, I talk really fast, so that's a good thing is it's gonna go fast, but <coughs> please, I talk, hopefully I talk loud enough, I mean it was. Um, the Damon and Lake uh, Green Line uh, uh, elevated station. Um, this is a great, you know, uh, project is uh, it's getting really close. We're on the design process right now. And the bids are, uh, we're looking uh, as early as the third quarter 2019. You know, again, uh, please sign up for emails alert uh, through the buying plans. And um, keep looking at the buying plan often on the bid uh, process for engineering pro uh, contracts, design, construction, etc. Uh, et uh, the construction uh, hopefully will be starting at the end of this year, uh, 2019. Uh, the construction is going to uh, 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 two years all the way to the fourth quarter. Um, one of the things uh, we have an exciting project on the south side of Chicago is going to be a big project. One of the things is going to be um, the first bed package, you know. And if you want more information, you can ask questions a little bit. Alan Grill is here to give more information if you have. This is going to be some um, improvement on lecture drive. We're going to have some of the uh, other improvement on this. Uh, this is regards the uh, transportation projects, you know. So, and everything in here is going to be the construction projects, not the design. Um, um, I think we're also going to be coming out with the construction engineer for this. <coughs> we have somebody. Yes, we have. Uh, we're going to be coming out with the CM contracts for bid package one. Um, we're, we're, look, we're aiming for mid October. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot of uh, work is coming out of late. Uh, uh, Grand Avenue, Chicago Avenue to Damon. This is another um, uh, street uh, project, and we're going to be, uh, again, the third quarter of uh, this year, the construction, the beginning of next year, and uh, all the way to uh, construction will last another uh, in a year. Lincoln to Ashland, and that one uh, improvement. This is another uh, uh, highway project, and it's going to be coming out on the end of this uh, year. Some of these uh, projects, if you want more information, we'll be able to talk a little bit more details, or I will get you more details. Uh, the typical, uh, see that, um, not typical, the 2019 uh, interior resurfacing contract, this will be a construction project, uh, then we'll be dividing four contracts on the north, south, central, far, uh, far south. Uh, the bids will be starting on the third quarter 2019, and construction will start you know, soon after that. Oh, um, another one, street uh, resurfacing, and it's a bigger uh, highway job. Uh, 71st Street, uh, uh, Section 2, J3 Avenue to South Shore uh, Drive. Uh, that project is going to be in construction on the fourth quarter 2019. Uh, construction start on uh, 2020. Okay, 43rd Street Bridge. Okay, look, this is a bridge project, so I know a lot more details about this one. This one should be coming on construction um, the third quarter 2019. This is the mirror image on the 41st Street bridge. Uh, it's going to go over the railroad tracks, uh, the uh, lecture drive, and then land on the uh, uh, on, on the other park in the park district. Um, this one uh, should be going uh, as early as uh, August or uh, September. Uh, this is going to be, if you um, have a lot more details, if you want to see. You should look at what it was done for 41st, and so you will have a good details of what everything took and all for the construction and erection. The Harris 
Jackson Street Bridge Viaduct over the Union Station. Uh, that's another uh, bridge project. <coughs> that project is going to be all the way from the Vasco Bridge to Canal Street. Uh, this is one of the future Canal Streets. Also going to be all the way from Adams to Taylor Street. And the next four years, you're going to see uh, we're going to be working on one of the structures at a time uh, to bring over. So this one is. The first one to go in, uh, in front of all the other ones, but this one is an Harrison, which will be a gravitation all over the unit station. This one has as many tracks over the unit station, so this is going to be a lot of night work on uh, construction and we didn't do the next kind of railroad. Uh, also, the, I think the, we're going to be doing the construction management on this one, uh, also coming out soon. Saltwater Street. Uh, it's going to be between William uh, Court and Stetson, and that's the uh, valley infrastructure that we needed in that area, uh, in that area and it's going to be in the third quarter, 20, uh, 20 to 2019, uh, starting construction as early as uh, end of this year. The 31st Street Bridge over the Metro, that's uh, almost identical to the one that's going on over the all foot that is happening right now is the all foot is halfway done and this one is going to be going uh, almost identical half of the structure at the time. This one is going to be the challenging because of the Bears games, my comrades <coughs> and everything. But again, it's going to be staging, so the traffic all is going to be flowing. Um, it's going to be almost at the same time the 43rd Street Bridge is going. The good thing is 43rd is going to be a pedestrian, so it's not going to have uh, adverse effect on traffic as much. Bridge contract of uh, painting uh, contract number eight. This is the uh, last end of Walker Drive, you know, from Michigan all the way to Lecture Drive. Um, this should be going to construction um, for a bit in the next uh, couple months. Some engineering services projects. I'm just going to talk about the ones coming out this year. Uh, there's the 92nd Street Basco Bridge over the Calumet, the 100th Street uh, Basco Bridge over the Calumet. Um, <coughs> On the 106th Street, um, 106th Street, you guys know that bridge has been, it was closed for like six months because we're doing a lot of mechanical repairs. But all those projects are going to have big uh, uh, renovation. There's going to be capital improvements, so there's going to be the phase design, the engineering study, and then jump into the design after that, and then construction uh, one at a time on the far south side. The Canal Street, like I was talking about, this is the phase two, the Taylor over Harrison is going on right now uh, for the phase two. The, uh, Canal Street, Madison to Adam Street, uh, construction management, it should be going on on the end of this year. Grand Avenue, Basco Bridge. Uh, uh, Grand Avenue is being designed right now, so we're going to be jumping into the construction uh, soon, uh, in the next couple of years, so this is the, this, uh, the construction management for it. On the LaSalle Street, uh, Basco Bridge, uh, the uh, Chicago River, um, they, this is going to be, uh, this is the phase three. And depends on the other jobs, if it's going to be 2019, 2020, 2021 construction, but uh, the construction uh, management we need to get done and coordinate the depends on the other five from the city. Um, like the Grand Avenue, we have the Division Street projects coming up. We also got the Chicago Avenue project. So Grand Avenue is going to be just after those, but big, not after Corbin and Webster. Uh, Basco Bridge is on construction in the next year and the year after that. Uh, that makes sense. There's so much going on. It's just, uh, that's why I say keep track of the um, buying plan and look at the, uh, on the, on the site and um, register because we're trying, this is a big puzzle in the whole city and we're trying to put it together. We're trying to, so many projects and we need to make sure that one project doesn't interfere with the other one. And as like, you guys know, it's a big challenge, and we're trying to put that post on the far south side, north side, downtown. It's just big loveliness. Okay. Uh, any question, guys? See? Quick. Any microphone or no microphone? Oh, see? I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Task order contracts coming out. CURs. Task orders. We're work, uh, We're trying to or bridge section or which one? Uh, construction management in general. 
Um, so you need a mic. They can't hear you. So you're going to have to either share yeah. here. I'm <laughs> Just stay where you are. Okay. Tell me your question again, sir. Will there be any task order DUR, DUR contracts coming out as well as part of this program? Uh, maybe specifically in my interest would be construction management. So we are in the process of issuing an RFQ for a new pool of uh, a new pool of vendors, but it probably will not come out for the next seven, eight, maybe even nine months. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The same thing for bridge design. Hopefully in the next nine months or so, we're going to come out with another bridge design group, also task order. So they're, they're all expiring, so we are slowly uh, coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more questions. Any other questions? Yes. Good afternoon. I'm sorry I was late. Nobody's so close to you. Okay. Um, are there any, maybe I missed this, are there any DBE requirements with your project? Uh, our, our project has a DBE or MBE, WBE project. It's, if it's locally funded, it will be MBE, WBE. If it's federally funded, it will be DBE. But all our projects have some type of minority participation, doesn't matter what. It's just, if we ask for it, I don't know if you guys are familiar, if you guys see MBE, WBE, it's because it's locally funded or state funded project. If you guys see DB, it's because it's better, somehow it's some federal funding is on it. So if you only have DB, make sure you apply for your MBE local DB pre-qualifications. Okay, so that'll be on the RFQ or RFP. The same well. thing. Okay. Thank you. The, um, <coughs> the minority participation goal for MBE and WBE is 25 MBE, 5 WBE. And for construction, it's 26 and 6. And if it's DBE, it's contract specific, which typically runs between 26 to 28, 29 percent. Thank you. Any other questions? Wow, that was <laughs> no other questions for you. Well, thank you for coming. And you, if you would, for me, take a few minutes since we got out of early. And there's an evaluation. If you could mark on the evaluation, if there was something else that you wanted to hear that we didn't talk about today, uh, feel free to put that on there. Um, because we evaluate all of our workshops and make sure that we're giving you what you want. So um, we want to make sure that if it's another workshop we need to present or um, if there's a deeper dive in the workshop that we already have, that we have the information that you came here looking for. Okay? And we want to thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Go ahead. If you guys have some more information, to add. No, if you guys have any questions, we're still here. Does anybody want to know about OPC? No? Okay. Yes. What's OPC? Okay. Oh, okay, don't talk first. You have to take the mic from him. Right. <laughs> So OPC, uh, well not OPC, but the OPC improvements which were spoken about earlier, um, there are a bunch of transportation improvements coming to support the possible coming of that library, uh, of that historic center. And with those transportation improvements, we really need to have MBE, WBE participation. This is, a, this is going to be uh, and it's going to utilize funding that's going to allow us to do a lot of local hiring, a lot of uh, hiring within the city, a lot of hiring right here within the area. Um, with that, uh, anything that you all may want to know, like what things are, what things we're actually doing, we're going to be doing uh, bridge rehabilitation, we're going to be doing underpasses, we're going to be doing pump stations, we're going to be 
uh, doing sewage, electrical, we're doing some widening, some alignment changes. There's a lot going on. For those of you who have your DBE, WBE, or well, MBE status, try to get as many people that you know of uh, together because it's gonna. This is one of the bigger projects that we've had in the last what? <laughs> it's gonna be ever one of the, so, <laughs> one of the bigger projects that we've had. And we want to make sure that we can get this accomplished because what this center will do is going to be bring jobs, it's going to bring an educational facility, it's going to help, uh, you know, it's going to help enrich Chicago as a community, as a whole. So we really want to make sure that everybody participates who can participate. Um, how many of you all are actually uh, infrastructure contractors, not just buildings? Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Okay, question for you all. How many of you all actually have people being, being some of the, uh, because you're not, I'm sure you're not as big as Walsh and whatnot, but how many of you all actually have people who can do deep foundations? Not really. How many people, how many of you have people who can do um, bridge finishing, like the concrete finishing? Concrete finishing, okay. What about electric, electrical? How many, uh, to what extent? All light poles, all signals? Nobody? You can do signals. We can do an aspect of that, yes. An aspect, what aspect? Providing traffic signal equipment. You can provide traffic signal equipment. Yes. Great. I'm just taking this litmus test because we're- well, that's fine. Yeah. We, we don't provide the labor. Okay, you, okay, so you will provide the actual yes. signal. Uh, the, okay, so how many actually have people who can do the sewage work? Smaller firms, WBE, MBE. That's okay. And not WBE or MBE. They probably have the capability to do the functions you're talking about. But we okay. have to go into a joint venture with other companies. Okay, but it can be accomplished. I think so. I have to talk to the principles okay well let me get your card okay. if you don't mind uh, when we after we turn out uh, but again this is coming down the pipeline it's gonna be a great opportunity for people to get jobs people to get training people to make a lot of money who are in on that side who are trying to become bigger or trying to have those opportunities to add that to their uh, their resume so I hope that as many of you as possible get that opportunity and follow up on it but that's what's coming with the Jackson Park improvements, which are slated to help aid the uh, traffic, the uh, traffic movements uh, in the area of the OPC, Obama, Obama Presidential Center. What's so, the schedule for that? The schedule for that, tentatively. Yes, yes. Tentatively, we're trying to get things out uh, mid October. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of there's a lot of coordination, which may move that back to early next year. But right now, we're focusing on trying to get things out and get things uh, in the public's eye mid-October. Thank you. Okay. So, you all know, it's Chicago, so much sewage, so much electrical, so many, uh, so many agreements that have to be, be made. And we're trying to make sure that all that gets handled that way we can present a good product. And when a contractor gets out there, um, they're not just caught just, you know, call it a bad place. So, all right. And I would always also say to you, um, when we have our vendor fair, we always give, um, you know, a prime and developers connect. Um, but we have noticed that it might be a little bit more instrumental that um, subprime contractors hook up together and come to a prime. Um, you might not have everything, that person might not have everything within their business, but the two of you together can go in and get that job done. Um, and I think that's what he's asking right now, so that you get at least some piece of the pie. I want to do that on, on mic. Oh, so okay. if you want to hear who they are, I 
they wanted to know who they are. They should have come to class, right? 